Hi, I'm Alberto Santillan of Rosy Frijoles, rosyfrijolesmusic.blogspot.com, and I'm here with Ryan Schaefer, Sam Stratton, and Chris Rusk of Royal Bang from Tennessee, and we've got a few questions to preserve them tonight. Now, the first question I wanted to ask you guys, a friend of mine described you guys as having kind of a black keys strokes kind of thing going on. I don't really agree with him 100%, but I agree Thanks. that there's some kind of <laughs> truth to that sentiment. Uh, what were you guys listening to uh, during the recording of your latest album that inspired you? Uh, a lot of Led Zeppelin, lot probably. Of Led Zeppelin. That's yeah. mostly just what we listen to in the van. You know, we what we had for a while, the only way we had just a CD player, uh, which is the only way we could listen to it. So before we went on a tour, the only CDs we burned were like Led Zeppelin 1, 2, 3, Zoso, and uh, Essentials, right? yeah. Houses of the Holy, and, 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 wait, all of them. Physical Graffiti, everything except Coda. And we just listened to them all in sequence over and over again and pretty much just memorized all of them. So that was the only thing that we, yeah, that was really the only thing we were listening to, I guess. And now we can play tons of Led Zeppelin songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can't beat Zeppelin as an influence, man. No. Now, uh, one thing I wanted to know, how did you guys feel when you found out Patrick Carney wanted to reissue your first album on his label? Uh, well, I found out uh, in class when I was still in college. Because I was emailing, and uh, I just got the email from him, and I was like in the middle of class, not paying attention to what was going on. I was like, oh, shit, and then I dropped out. <laughs> yeah. nice. well, probably a little prematurely. <laughs> but there were some things that happened before. I mean, there were things. That's, that's I didn't. I didn't just story. like throw my books down and say "fuck you guys" and leave. It that's wasn't that dramatic. <laughs> but uh, it, it was kind of like that. Um, how do you guys like to approach the live show differently from uh, a recording point of view? Especially Ryan. Especially since I noticed you switch off from guitar into keyboard and off and on again. How do you guys like to approach well, that? Well, we used to do a lot more uh, sequencing and things like that. Um, especially when we we used to have five people and now there's only three of us. We, in order to play the old songs, we used to sequence a bunch of things and we kind of got tired of that. And so instead, the ones that uh, required a lot of this extra kind of computer help, we, we just tried to pick the thing that we thought that was, was the most exciting about it and just do that and play around that. And if it didn't work, then either we wouldn't play it or try to find a way to play it that was exciting. Um, and it, it's helped because now when we use technology, it's so much more flexible. Yeah, so we, yeah, we're not, not as dependent on, um, you know, staying in time with the computer. It's more just kind of the three of us playing. I it's, mean, there's still a lot of that involved, for sure, but it's, it's more effects and things like that rather than you know, playing along to a bunch of drum beats and, it, and that kind of stuff. It seems more, or it seems like less computer and more rock and roll or something. Yeah. Like. It's more, it's way more fun now. We're just, it's, it seems like kind of a no-brainer, but after years of doing it that way and kind of becoming more and more and more electronic and adding more of this stuff, we got to a point where that just really wasn't that fun anymore. So now, we've kind of gone back to the way it was when we first started playing together in high school, pretty much, you know, it's just, it's kind Same of... Same with the music influences, I think. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's the other thing, is that instead of, like, for this record, we are also going back to all the things that, that we used to listen to when we were in high school, so Which is pretty like, much so. I feel like a lot of people that we know kind of go through this period when they first go into college and they're wanting to find new things, and they, like, look at the blogs, and, you know, like, listen to all of this music, you know, which is cool, like, all this indie rock. And then I think a lot of people go back to what they listened to in high school, or like the classics or something. Mm -hmm. And I think we kind of did that a little bit, maybe. Speaking of the new record, it's coming out pretty soon. Right now you guys are touring, and you guys are obviously playing a lot of new material. What's your goal for 2011? Well, uh, the record comes out is just to basically stay on the road. We took the whole last year off to to write the record and to record and, and we kind of got like cabin fever I think a little bit like we're all really excited to just go out and play shows for a while it's been it was really nice being home and it was really nice getting to focus on that part of it but also I think we've all kind of missed playing shows so as long as we can as long as we can keep playing shows for the whole year it'll probably be fine I think <laughs> that's that's we have pretty low 